Yo, what's up, Mega Gang? It's your boy, Mega Flint, guys. We're back here on a brand new video, guys. As always, man, your boy's back once again, man. Hasn't been in a vacation for a little while. But today, guys, we are on the road to Saturday, which is AEW Full Gear. And I'm so excited for this. This is going to be one epic pay per view, man. I got to admit, though, man, I. Uh, let's just like AEW All Out. They did awesome, but I can't wait to see AEW Full Gear because it's gonna cause there's gonna be a lot of banger match. They got the Minneapolis Street Fight. You got the AEW World Championship on the line. You got the you got the AEW Tag Team Championship on the line, man. And you even got the AEW Women's Championship on the line. This is gonna be an epic show. So without further ado, man. And also, guys, make sure you go ahead and get that video a like. Give your boy a subscribe button. Make sure you make sure you go. Make sure you guys also subscribe to Mega Flint Shorts, which is in the description right there. Make sure you guys also, and also guys, make sure you go ahead and follow all my social platforms like Instagram, Twitter, and, and Facebook, and whatever. But today, guys, this is AEW Full Gear 2021 prediction. So let's go. All right. So for starting things off, we got Kenny Omega versus Hangman Adam Page for the AEW. World Championship. You see, uh, in October 20, 2018, prior to the formation of AEW, Adam Page joined his friend Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, forming a group known as the Elite, the, the Elite, the Elite, the, the Elite. In January 2020, Hangman Adam Page and Kenny Omega won the AEW World Tag Team Championship, but lost it later that year. Signs of distance occurred during th this title reign, and after more, a after more months of tension within the group, Paige was, re was removed from the elite by the Young Bucks on October 27th, 2020. In the episode of Dynamite, after Paige had, pre had prevented them uh, from winning the match at, at 2024 gear on November the 7th. Page faced Omega Mega in the finals of the tournament to determine number one contender for the AEW World Championship with Omega winning. Omega would go later on to win the championship uh, nearly a year later in October 6, 2021. The, the episode of Dynamite. A hangman on a page returned from two months high. He, he tires. Won the casino ladder match to become the number one contender for the AEW World Championship. Still held by Kenny Omega. So in October 16th, the championship match was scheduled for full gear. Man, I swear, man, this is gonna be a good match, though. I mean, for real. Oh, uh, hey man, Page, Kenny Omega, they're good wrestlers in AEW. But, uh, but who that's gonna win? I'm gonna say Hangman Adam Page. Yep. Hangman Adam Page is returned. Hangman Adam Page is gonna reach is gonna win that AEW World Championship. All right, next up, guys, we got Dr. Brett Baker, D-M-D, with Jamie Hader and Rebel versus Ty Conte with Anna J in the single matches for the AEW Women's World Championship. I mean, you got to admit, Ty Conte and Brett Baker, they're, they're good female superstars, man. They're good divas. They're, I mean, they, they've been bringing all the fire in the AEW Women's division, man. But... But then Britt Baker won the uh, AEW World Championship, and now she gets to face Ty Conti. Wow, it's gonna be a good match. I'm gonna say Dr. Brett Baker, D M D. Next up, guys, we got the American Dragon Warrior, Brian Danielson versus the God's favorite champion, Miro, and it is for and it is an. It is a final of the AEW World Championship Eliminator Tournament Final. You see, Brian Nelson, Orange Cassidy, Preston Tempest, Lance Archer, John Moxley, Eddie Kingston, Dustin Rhodes, and Powerhouse Hobbs were revealed as participant. However, on November the 2nd, Moxley was removed from the tournament after entering a rehabilitation program for alcohol addiction. But all of a sudden, he was replaced by Miro. So now... Brian Nelson and Miro are not in the finals. That means they got to face each other at full gear. So who am I picking to win? I got my boy, Brian Danielson. Brian Danielson is going to win that finals, bro. RP, Brian Danielson is going to win it, man. 
All right, next up, guys, we got the Inner Circle, Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, the TNT Champion, Sammy Guevara, Santana, and Ortiz versus the Man of the Year, Ethan Pace, Scorpio Sky, and the ATT, American Top Team, Junior Dos Santos, Andre Alvosky, and the Fat... Fa no, I'm not going to say it, but I got to say it. The Fat Face Dipshit, Dan Lambert. <laughs> Oh uh, man, you know, I gotta admit, it's kinda good saying it. You know, it's kinda good. Alright? Alright, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. But yeah, so the inner circle won the uh the the terms by Sammy Guevara roll pinning Ethan Page to retain his TNT championship, which means that now they get to pick whoever they want to face. Any member of the American Top Team. So they picked it. Junior Dos Santos, Andre Olivoski, and Dan Lambert. But, man, this is going to be a good match. Cause yes. But, you see, I kind of hate how Dan Lambert always be saying stuff about AEW. Like, listen, AEW is better than the American Top Team. So, I don't care if you bring Jorge Masvidal or Paige Van Zandt. All I know is the Inner Circle is going to win, baby. Team Inner Circle all the way, baby. Let's go. All right, next up, guys, we got the Lucha Bros, Penta El Zeno Meadow, Ray Phoenix, with Alex Abraham, Alex Ab Abrahantes versus FTR, Dex Hardwood, Cash Wheeler, and with Tony Blanchard, it is for the AEW World Tag Team Championship. You got to admit, though, FTR got the best reign, title reigns, in every, in every tag team company. But the Lucha Bros, heck, they got, they've been doing all these holy ass moments, man. So you gotta admit, though, bro, we might see, I mean, we might, we might see FTR on um, win the uh, AEW World Championship just like what they want, the Triple A Tag Team Championship. But I'm going for the Lucha Bros on this one. I'm going for the Lucha Bros. You know why? Because the Lucha Bros need to get the revenge after what happened by Andrade and FTR and whole pinnacle situation crap. So, yep, I'm going for the Lucha Bros. Zeno Meadow. Next up, guys, we got Darby Allen versus MJF. Remember, guys, these two guys are all were, are all the members of the Four Pillars. I mean, for real. But, yeah, they're all the Four Pillars. Though. It's kind of great. With Sammy Guevara and Jungle Boy, Darby Allen and MJF. Yeah, so you see. But then, all of a sudden, uh, Dar MJF want to talk about Darby Allen's grandfather. Or I don't know. And, uh, but Darby said, say something else, say something else, but MJF refused to, he said, and then he said that I'm gonna break you physically. So last time I AEW Dynamite, Darby always tried to, inter tried to have an interview, here comes the limousine, which is known as the Pinnacle, MJF, Warlow, Shaw Spears, and FTR, attacking Darby Allen with the mask on, man, with the mask, with, with the mask and now, Darby Allen is back to get his revenge on MJF. So, y'all, so, so who I pick between MJF and Darby Allen? I'm picking Darby Allen. Because you know why? Because Darby Allen needed to get his revenge on MJF. See, you already saw what happened last time on AEW Dynamite. Bro, Sting. Darby got Sting, and he even got his whole crew. Look at the end, they even attacking the pinnacle. But so, yeah, I'm picking my boy, Darby Allen. Next up, we got the best in the world. It's clobbering time. CM Punk versus the cold world, Eddie Kingston. Oh, man. You got to admit, though, man, they had a banging promo. And now this is happening full gear. I really thought we were going to get CM Punk versus Wardlow at, at full gear. But, nah, it changed to CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston. I mean, you got to admit, Eddie Kingston and CM Punk, they got, bro... Their promo was fire. Was fire, man. I, I gotta admit, though, they did awesome. I mean, for real, they did awesome with the promo. And now, since it's happening at full gear, <coughs> since it's happening at full gear, I'm picking my boy, CM Punk. It's clobbering time! And last but not least, though, guys, we got Christian Cage versus Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus versus the Super Kilt, Adam Cole. Bang, bang, had the young bucks super kick party. Man, you gotta admit, now, Chris and Cage is back. We haven't seen Chris and Cage since he first won 
since he first lost the AEW World Championship match against Ken Omega at All Out 2021. But now, since he's back and teaming up with Jurassic Express, it has now turned into a false count anywhere match. You gotta admit, though, this might be a good match, though, because you got the Jurassic Express, you got Adam Cole, Young Bucks, Christian Cage. This is gonna be a banger. So, who am I picking to win the false count anywhere tag team match? I'm saying. Super Kilk. Yep, I'm going for the Super Kilk. Or maybe Christian Cage or Jurassic Park. Jurassic Express. But yeah, I'm picking Christian Cage and Jurassic Express. Because yes, Christian is back. We haven't seen him since, you know, you all know when he lost the AEW World Championship from Ken Omega at All Out. So yep, I'm picking Christian Cage and Jurassic Express. But psych, I'm picking Super Kilk, okay? Because you already know, they're the bad, that's a, bro, they're the badass team in whole AEW. And outside wrestling companies man so yep i'm going for a super kilk bang bang well guys that is it for today's mail flint guys uh and also i got a special now for y'all we know what we got a special announcement for y'all so starting in october the first we're gonna be doing the first time ever 25 days of mega flint i cannot wait to see you guys in december the first all the way through December 25th. This is going to be a back match. You know, you don't know what 25 days of Mega Flint is? We're going to upload all of the live reactions and predictions every 25 days. Man, this is going to be a good Christmas. So I cannot wait to see you guys through the first day and the last day of Christmas, man. This is going to be a banger. So make sure you go ahead and hit that video like. Hit that subscribe to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and turn that notification on. Smash that like button and put a comment down below. What's your prediction for AEW Full Gear? And as always, man, metal for doubt, you guys. Peace!